In this video, we'll quickly find the end behavior for our polynomial graph. So we'll work from this equation, y equals x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4x. And we would do this so that we can easily sketch a graph of the polynomial. Knowing the end behavior will help you get that graph in the right place. All right, so first let's identify the leading term. And the leading term is simply the polynomial term that has the highest exponent. So in this case, our leading term is x to the fourth. And looking at two pieces of information from that and a little analysis will get us the correct end behavior for this equation. Okay, so in this little chart, the D stands for degree. So specifically, we'll identify the degree and say, is it even or odd? And LC stands for the leading coefficient's sign. So is it positive or negative? And from those two things, we'll be able to get the end behavior. So we see our degree or our exponent is four. So we'll say our degree is even. Okay, four is even. And then our leading coefficient, of course, is positive. So from these two things, we can now draw our conclusion about end behavior. Just think about the most basic even parent function, which is y equals positive x squared. We should know what that graph looks like, but u opening up because it's positive. And so looking at those two ends, that'll tell us our end behavior for this x to the fourth polynomial. So that leading term is really pulling the strongest on our graph. All right, so our end behavior, you could call it up on the left and up on the right. That's just saying, what is the graph doing as it goes infinitely negative or infinitely positive in its x's? What are the y's doing? And in short, which direction should the arrows on the ends be facing? So up on both sides here for this polynomial. Hopefully this helps give you a solid foundation for starting to sketch graphs of polynomials. I will post more videos with examples on end behavior as well as examples on how to sketch graphs of polynomials. Thanks for watching.